Hello, hello, crafty friends. It's Courtney Brickner with the Crafty Brick, the CB behind the Crafty Brick. My phone is echoing. Let me turn that down. Sorry about that. Hello, who is here with me already? Dee, Donzel, Lucille, Janae, or Janae, sorry. I said that wrong. Tony, welcome to Crafty Tuesday. Um, if you're here for the first time, let us let me just kind of tell you what Crafty Tuesday is. I come on here every week. I make something, usually something that I have not made in the past. And you know what? It's not perfected. It's not practiced. It's, it's nothing. It, so it's not ready for social media. It's not ready really for anyone. And sometimes it really should not even be ready for Crafty Tuesday. But I just get on here and I try it anyway. Sometimes it's a hot mess and sometimes it's really good. And lately it actually has been really good. We've had a lot of success at Crafty Tuesday recently. So hopefully tonight will be successful as well. And I'm really looking forward to it. Sometimes you learn what not to do when you watch Crafty Tuesday. So if you're here looking for expert advice on something, this is probably not what you wanna continue watching. But if you wanna have a little fun and see how things go behind the scenes of a crafter, then you should stay because you're in the right place. Um, how are you guys doing? Oh, Nanette's here, Renee, Susan. Welcome back to Crafty Tuesday. You guys are always here hanging out. I love that. Um, anybody here for the first time to Crafty Tuesday? I'm so glad you like it, Dee. I'm telling you, when I started doing it, I was so nervous because I don't really like to make mistakes, especially making mistakes live that everyone else can see. But, you know, it, it's worked out. I used to be super nervous coming on here every time, but now I'm just like... Well, we're just going to see how it goes and, and just roll with it. Hey, Christiana. Thanks, Nanette. I'm so glad you guys like it. Hey, Susan. Tonight, so, okay, so I have done this project that we're trying out tonight. I've done it before on some wine glasses. But what I want to do today is try it on some cutting boards. And I'm doing something a little bit different. So I've got a couple cutting boards here that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, they're just glass cutting boards. We are going to do two different ways of etching them. So we're going to use Armor Etch, which you guys may have used before. I've used it before. It works really well. But we're also going to use, you guys might not have used this. This is Caesar Etch. It's an etch vinyl. So it looks very, very similar to an etched um, project, but it's vinyl. It's permanent vinyl. So it's very, very nice. And you don't have to wait. You don't have to put the etching cream on. You don't have to wipe it off. You don't have to wear the gloves. It's just vinyl. So we're going to do both. So I'm going to use Leonardo Design Studio. I downloaded a couple of designs from Creative Fabrica. So I don't show the software side very often. So we're going to go into the software. We're going to upload the two designs that I picked out. And we're going to make a couple cutting boards. And we're going to see how both of them look. The unfortunate thing is that with... Um, with etching, you know, it's just kind of hard to see with the glass. So I'm hoping that it's going to show up okay. This is actually, oh, you can't see it. So this one, I'm going to see if you guys could even tell the difference between them. So let me turn it this way, turn this one. Okay, so both of these have been done one with etching cream and one with. Um, the vinyl. Let me, I'm going to switch on this other camera because that light won't be shining. So I'm going to see if maybe you guys.
Who else we have? Soini, hello. Welcome to Crafty Tuesday. Glass etching, one of the first things I did with vinyl. It's really nice. I need to get some to color in etching. They make a marker pen for them. Oh, I didn't know. I haven't ever used the marker pen. So the wine is the vinyl. The mom boss is the etching cream. So they look very, very similar. I, I thought it was very cool. We actually, I went to Detroit to Caesars, the North America headquarters and we cut some of the etched vinyl and put it all over the like made a design and covered the glass door of Johan who's like the um kind of the CEO or the the director there of North America and we did his door it was really cool we did a huge design like 12 by I don't know 50 or something like that it was really cool Oh, hey, Sipping Crafts. Welcome for the first time. I'm glad you're here. Rub and Buff 2. What? I haven't tried the Rub and Buff. Um, yeah, did you use it, D? I haven't ever tried that. Oh, good to know. Good to know. I'll have to try. So it's just regular etching cream or it's, or it's like a color? For the rub and buff. Curious. What is this thing doing? Why are you so loud? Echoing. You're weeding an etch project right now. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You are working on the same thing we are. Yeah, I haven't heard of the pens. I want to look up the pens because that would be cool. Yeah, post it on the group page. I would love to see that as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and present my screen here. Let's see. Entire screen. We are going to go to... Oh, it's already open. I'm like, well, I want to open. Let's import one of the files that I downloaded earlier. The monogram. Mr. and Mrs. I thought this would be cute to do for one of them. Cause I was thinking it might be cute to do like a wedding gift or a new home gift. I think this cutting boards are nice. So I'm gonna go with this Mr. and Mrs. here. Yeah, that'll be cute. We'll do editable artwork since we're doing an SVG. We definitely need to make it smaller. Actually, I'm gonna measure this. Maybe it's written on here how big it is. I think it's like seven, just not sure. So let's see how big this square is. 7.75. So we shall make our, let's see, we're going to make it six and a half. How about that? That sounds good to me. Or maybe six. So I'll have room to put the tape. All right. Six, and then add a name. Let's go down here and add some text to it. How about Brickner? I'm gonna do caps. Mr. and Mrs. Brickner, like we're newlyweds. <laughs> um, oh, I like this font. I kind of want it a little bit thicker. Which one do I want to go with? Not that for sure. We'll go with this one. Mr. and Mrs. Brickner. Let's get this centered. I'm gonna highlight both of them and then click this center button here. So this one, so I'm, I'm gonna be cutting them different ways. So one I'm gonna have to cut as a stencil, 
One, I'm going to have to cut um, just regular. So I'm going to put a square around this one since it's going to be a stencil. Let me send this to the back. Oh, <laughs> might help if I could see it. They're both black, so that doesn't doesn't help me. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight both and I am going to click remove front. The black heart is in the front, but I, let me hide this. I can't see what I'm doing. Remove front. So then that is going, oh, I shoot, I forgot to highlight it, dang it. I forgot, let me go back. I forgot to connect them all. I forgot, like weld the, okay. Move that square out of the way. I'm gonna highlight all the, the heart and the name. I'm gonna weld them together. So now they're one, now we can do this. So now I will highlight the whole thing remove the front and now that is cut out of this so the the front removed the the whole image from this so now i've got a stencil here so that's exactly what i wanted so it's going to cut out this whole thing in the middle parts so we will let's actually do our other one first so let me do one more sheet because I got two designs I wanted to import. Let's go back to our downloads. What was the other one? Did I, oh, in my new home era. I thought that was cute. So this is another uh, cutting board. That would be cute. So let's make this six. Good gracious, that is rather large. And to be honest, I don't know if I want all of these little things. I don't really want, I'm going to um, ungroup all of these. So let's ungroup. I'm going to take out the peace sign. I don't really want the peace sign. And actually that's throwing everything off. I'm just going to keep it. We'll just keep it all. We'll just keep it all. I don't even know how well it's going to cut out this teeny tiny but let's weld it all together. We're gonna go with 6.5 inches. All right, and that one will be ready to cut too. Simple, easy peasy. So let's get Juliet turned on. Let's see, are you on my girl? There we go. Now we can't mess up because this is all I got. I got these two sheets. That's it. So let's feed this one in. Why is this so far over? I don't know how my rollers got so far over. Let's lock them in place. All right. We'll put this down. To be honest, I don't know what setting it's on. I think 15 will be good, but let's let's do a little test cut just to make sure. Let's just make sure that our t-shirt oh, is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's move that back. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send the design. I'm pretty sure I have enough material, but I just want to make sure because I really don't have enough to waste. So let's do an area test. Um, oh, see, that's not good enough. So let's try this this paper. I'm so glad I tested it because that I'll probably have enough, but I'll just need a mat. It's not going to be enough without a mat. But let's try it with this. Send and do another area test. Okay, this one's good, but we need to mirror it 
also. Okay, now we can send, send to cutter. All right, Juliet, Let's send to the cutter. My quiet girl, back to our design, and then we'll go cut the other one. I just need to get some vinyl to cut the other one. I'm going to use this copper. Don't use that very often. Doesn't really matter what color you're going to use for that. I wonder how all those little things are going to cut. Let's see. Trying to check out some comments. Oh, you guys can see what I'm doing because <laughs> I'm still sharing my screen. I do have alcohol ink. I do. I, I've only used it a couple times though. Oh, wait. So if you have alcohol ink, you can color in the etching. Just seal it afterwards. Oh, what do I seal it with? Like a... Like acrylic, polyacrylic or something? That is, ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna try, I've never done it. I think I have some. Okay, you're gonna have to help walk me through this, Christiana, because I don't know how to do it. Paint in etching. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna try that tonight. My crafty friends, Christiana's suggested it. So we're gonna try, I've never done coloring in etching. Oh, but what am I doing? I'm getting, wait, what am I doing? Okay, I'm making it. Oh. Wait, I'm so confused what I'm doing. Etching for one. Okay, etching for one, vinyl for the other. Okay, so we did vinyl. But you know what? I messed up because that one was supposed to be not a stencil. That was just cutting out. But I guess it doesn't matter. I can just cut that one out still. Okay. And then this one will be a stencil. I get confused sometimes at Crafty Tuesday. All right, let's, in my new home era, Send it, we're going to mirror, it's mirrored already. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. All right, I can stop sharing my screen, get back to the comments, which are where? Stop screen sharing, okay. Better late than never. Hey, Kristen, hey, Vern. Okay, so we're going to do, let me get my alcohol inks, but I'll probably have to, so, okay, Christiana, I take the alcohol ink, I mix it with etching cream, or, like, how do I do it? Mod Podge dif dishwasher safe, I do. Okay. I got my Mod Podge dishwasher safe. What the heck am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. This should have been pencil. That's oh well, guys. Okay, I got lots of alcohol inks. I have spray alcohol inks, and I have the little uh, what do you call them? Droppers. Okay. I would use a paintbrush to help guide it. She's etching. Yes, I'm etching today. Put the alcohol ink on the etching. Okay, I'm so behind. What are we doing? We're etching, Kristen, but I what I I wasn't doing coloring etching, but now I am. We're doing etching with Armor Etch as well as Caesar um, Etch Vinyl. That's the plan today. I've got two. Glad, uh, glass cutting boards. But now I'm very excited about this colored etching. 
that we are trying out today at Crafty Tuesday. Okay, let me open this one. All right, get these out of the packaging. So these are just Dollar Tree um, cutting boards. And let's see what this is. Yeah, I messed this up. But this should have been the stencil. I mean, this should not have been the stencil. This was just supposed to be pressed on. But we'll do the stencil first because we need to leave that etching cream sitting on there. Would have been easier if I had the box around it, but I don't. Let's see. Okay. I have lots of inks looking at them. It says good on glass, ceramic metals, and more. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this myself and get caught doing other projects. So now I'll get Courtney to do it for me. <laughs> I make for her, make more work for her on Crafty Tuesdays. Yes. That's like every Tuesday, but it's so much more fun. <laughs> And I've never done this, so I'm all for it. So let me see. This one is, this is what we're etching, so I need to take out this middle. Okay. I was trying to remember what I'm doing here. I'm making a stencil for etching cream. This finger is going to be horrible. It is way too small. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. There was like a teeny little line where the finger was, but that is not going to be good for the etching cream. I mean, there is that teeny little border. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we're etching with a color. And hopefully, it comes out nicely. I'm gonna have to get a little paper to put on the table because I have a feeling it will be a little bit messy. All right, just trying to finish weeding this, weeding our stencil. This is going to be so cool because I think this new home era that like retro vibe will be really cute with this color on the edge. Okay. Either Courtney is going to love me or hate me, Wendy. I'm going to always love you. Always. You guys are the best. All right, let's put this down so we can put this pencil on our glass. Scissors right here. All right. Make it work. Do, 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 do. Hopefully I did it right. All right, now we shall take our glass and get a little parchment paper. So I don't stick it down in the wrong spot. Do I have any? I do indeed. No, that's freezer paper. I think this will work. This should work. Oh, I didn't even think about the, the little stoppers there. Hopefully we're still within where are we can be within those stoppers where we are. All right, now let's, let's see where it's gonna be even. I can see this thing. 
Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the glass over this way so I can see where the heck this should be. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Oh, good. You can see through. So I'm looking at the glass to see like where I want it to be, where it's even. Okay. Now what I will do is hold on. Putting the glass down. Let's set that parchment paper. I'm pressing it onto the table. Let's see if that, if that works. I've got the glass laid down in the same spot. Trying to go slowly so the bubbles, it doesn't get a lot of bubbles in. Okay. Hopefully it ended up where I wanted it. Um, it did not, but <laughs> it did not, but uh there's not much I can do about it now that it's stuck down. I can't really lift it up. Dang it, it is not centered. Oh well. We're just trying it out. I should have just cut it down to size. Okay, definitely don't want any air bubbles around where the etching cream will be. It doesn't really matter if they're outside like there, but if they're like right around the edges of your letters, then etching cream is definitely going to um, bleed. And this is really so close to this foot. I don't really know if that's going to work. Okay. Okay, my friends, let me get a little paper. Am I on? I keep running out of stuff. Every time I'm live, I keep running out of stuff. I am, looks like, out of my butcher paper. Huh. That's interesting. All right. I'm just going to stick it on here. I'll just set it on there. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe. Okay. Kristen, Christiana, my friend. I was mix y'all up. Kristen, Christiana. Okay. And add color. That would be neat. Let's see what Christiana says. Let's hope the color works amazing. Okay, alcohol ink has been being used with resin lately. Alcohol ink is very cool. Let me get my gloves because I'm going to be putting on. Okay. Let me get my apron too. I don't want alcohol ink messing up my clothes. Okay, Christiana, we're doing this. You're saying it's gonna work. I sure hope so. <laughs> okay, so I've got my armor etched. Let me get my gloves on. Don't overthink this, Courtney. Seems easy enough. It does seem easy enough. It totally does. And I think I kind of want to use some more uh, multiple colors. What do you think? What brand inks do you use, Christiana? Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's put some etching cream on here. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to put this on. This is actually a much larger design than I have ever used with etching cream. I usually I'm just doing like a little 
um, logo, little monogram on a wine glass or something. But not today, not today, my friends. We're doing something bigger. The etching cream actually works really, really well. I like it a lot. All right, I'm just trying to cover all these areas. Shoot, by the time I get to the end of this one, this is going to be right, time to take it off of the first one. I never leave it on the time that it says for the, I think it said like three to five minutes. I always leave it on longer. I wish this was even, but next time I will make it even. So cool. So then we'll just add some color after we finish spreading this on. Make sure you guys saying anything. So glad you're trying it. So okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything. You know, sometimes I'm up here like doing something wrong, and you guys are like, Courtney, Courtney, fix it, and then I miss it. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure I don't miss what I'm supposed to do. I think we're good. I don't know how you messed this up, so I think we're good. I think I'm going to do like a blue and a green in the ink. And we'll see if it works. Okay. Last section here. And then we'll dip some inks. Big old design. <laughs> I don't even know anybody getting married. Christiana does. I'm old. I guess the next people getting married for me will be my kids. It's crazy to me to think that my oldest, like the age he is now, that's the age I met my husband. So like he could be meeting like his future wife in the near future. Crazy. She better be nice. Okay, guys. So you think we just you... scary first. All right, so we're gonna use, I'm gonna try this blue. You think I just dip it, Kristen? Oh, wow. Look at that. And then I'll just like mix it around. Is that what we're thinking? No way. You said no. Wait. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I thought you said put it with the etching cream. Christiana, after you watch the etching off, ah, oh, dang. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know, Christiana. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe we're coloring. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> etch then paint oh my goodness guys all right i didn't even turn on my watch all right well we're gonna see etch then paint so it's gonna be all over it's not just gonna be on the letters it's gonna be like all over the back of the glass is that what it is i think maybe i misunderstood i misunderstood the assignment I thought I understood the assignment, but I did not understand the assignment. That's all right. We're going to see. Maybe y'all are wrong. Maybe it works. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just a hot mess. I don't ever know what I'm doing. You might be on the verge of a new discovery. You know what? We just might. So let's just let's just stick with it. 
I'm in uncharted territory right now, doing new things, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe it will etch in a color. And maybe it won't. But we don't know until we try. So here we are. Here we are trying to etch with color, just like Christiana told me, even though I didn't listen to what she said. <laughs> this is going to be met. It's not going to be messy. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm going to wipe some of it off first, and then I'll just wash the excess. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. It's been a minute and 30. Well, probably like more than that, a few minutes. Okay, so what am I going to do? I need my towel and I'm going to wipe some of it off. And then I'm going to wash the rest of it off. That's the plan. I don't even know where my towel is. I don't even know. Okay. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to wipe it off with this. That's what, that's the plan. This is my rag. I'm going to wipe it off with that after a few more minutes. And we're going to see if color goes in it. <laughs> uh, so since it's after, is this in place of like rub and buff? Yeah, I've never used rub and buff, but we were discussing it earlier. It's not my fault. Courtney did not follow instructions. This is going to be a boom or bust for sure. <laughs> In my experience, you just paint it with a brush after the etching is done. All right, Christina. I have no experience with this. So I wasn't sure. I was trying to do what Christiana told me. See, if we had just stuck with the original plan for Crafty Tuesday tonight, we wouldn't be having all these issues. But no, Christiana's like, oh, why don't we try alcohol inks? Courtney, do you have alcohol inks? Let's do that. And then I did, and then here we are. <laughs> a new way to do it, I did. I did discover a new way. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to address that big blob of mess right there. And then this one, which was the original, can I see it? The original one that I was supposed to be um, doing the stencil, but I didn't. Oh, I'm glad I didn't even check to see if this was the same color on the back, but it is because if it wasn't, then that wouldn't work. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm actually taking off all of this. What am I doing? Oops, that's coming off. Oh, Courtney, gosh. Let's see if I can save it. Take, oh my gosh. The B is coming off. Everything's coming off. What the heck? <laughs> this might just be a bust, Crafty Tuesday. Let's see if I can save this in. I might be able to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's try and get this in back where it belongs. Come on, Mr. N. A little tired and now he's a little stretched out. We are gonna make it work. Come on. And you wanna come off? Oh, and you're just all messed up. You don't understand the assignment either. We're supposed to stay there where you're supposed to be. No, you want to get all twisted around. Okay. 
All right, I don't know about that end. I might have to recut it. What time are we at? We got five minutes. <laughs> Maybe I should wipe this off. We are always learning something new. Maybe repaint after washing it off. Okay. I like that idea. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to put my gloves back on. So I'm going to get an etching cream all over my hands. And then I'm going to wipe off some of this so that it's not all going in my sink. Here's my rag oh, yeah. here. Entry open. All right, guys, I'm going to go wash this off and we're going to come right back. And we'll see what we have here. Be right back. BRB. Did you say hello, Scott? You did not? That just came in, didn't even say hi, y'all. Rude. Okay. I didn't even check it out yet. The rag is going to be stained from ink. Yes, it probably will. It is a done rag. Okay, I didn't even take the stuff off yet. Y'all are going to be the first to see. I don't even know if it, if it works. <laughs> Let's see. All right, there is zero color. But, I mean, it did etch, but there's no color on it. So color doesn't work like that. So we can still try it, I think. I'll be back to what I was originally supposed to do. Let's get all of the vinyl off. Big. It wasn't too bad to get it off though. So that's good. Oh, but it did that, so that's good too. But now we know. So doing alcohol inks in the Etching cream does not work. So many little middle pieces. But it's such nice flat glass. I feel like this is even easier to do than the um, the wine glasses I've done because it's just a nice flat area. Okay, guys. So we're going to try. Did I get it? I don't know what that was. Oh, it's I. So the etching bled a little bit. Okay, but it looks cute in my new home era. Super cute. So now, okay. Now got to, okay, paint now. Oh, they said hello, Scott, even though you didn't come say hi to them. All right, let me get another sheet. Okay, 
Listen, Linda, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Would have been cool to skip a step if it worked that way, Courtney. It does look great. It does look great. Thank you. Okay, so now what do you say? Do I need a paintbrush? I don't even quite understand what I'm doing. Oh, here comes Scott. He came back to say right. hello. What's up, crafty crafters? <laughs> Look what we made. Nice little etched cutting board. Very nice. They're trying to get me to do new things, and I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't listen to their directions. <laughs> <laughs> It will run. Use paintbrush, yes. Okay. So do you think it's going to go outside of the the letters? I guess it is it just going to attach to the etch. Use a paintbrush and just paint it like normal. Okay. Here's my paintbrush. A brush or a sponge? Paintbrush. Hey, Laura. A paintbrush like normal. Yes, I do have gloves. I do have gloves. All right, I'm going to put some more gloves. Okay. Use it sparingly and wipe off excess with a paper towel. Okay. Um, so I'm just painting on the letters. I need to go get a little napkin maybe. I have to use another little wrap. Okay, so use it sparingly. Paper towel will get stuck, okay in any areas you don't want it even after it dries. Okay, that's good to know. Whew, I feel nervous. Okay, so here's a little green. So just put it on the letter. Use, I got a rag. I got a rag to wipe it off. So I'm just gonna do a little drop on the letter and then use a brush to rub it around on that letter. Is that the plan? I don't wanna mess up. I don't want to mess up, guys. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to follow directions. I don't want... Oh, it has to dry 24 to 48 hours. Oh, if you have a little dish or something where you use the ink, then put the paint from there. Brush the paint. Let me see. We soaked up too much in the sponge. Okay. You got this, cord. All right, I do. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit, maybe right here. All right, I'm gonna put a little ink right there. Ah, uh, that did nothing. Let's try this again. A little more ink. Oh, okay, there we go. You said I can brush it off or, or use alcohol to make it go off anywhere I don't want it. You said rub off the excess. Oh, goodness. Put on the good letter. Add an alcohol. Courtney, <laughs> Courtney is so entertaining. Am I? Am I? Really? Okay, but it does look like it's doing, um, it is painting on. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should let it sit a little longer. This other one's kind of stayed. All right, I'll let that one sit. Do a little bit more. Yeah, 
in my trying new things era. How about me? Out of the comfort zone today. Out of it. Okay, so it is staying on the letters. Let's see. Let's see. Y'all telling me it needs to dry. She's so... <laughs> Thank you, guys. We can get her to try anything. <laughs> yeah, she likes it. She likes it. Get, get Courtney to try it. She'll do it. So funny. You know, I figure that's what Crafted Tuesday is about. I try the things that you guys want me to try or that you've been thinking about trying, but maybe don't want to. So I do it for you. Mm -hmm. They said it needs to dry first. Okay. So let me put more up here then. And then I'm going to do a different color. Let me get another brush. I want to get another little brush here. It's going to be awesome, you think so? The color will be banging. All right. I hope so. Hopefully these alcohol inks aren't bleeding through this paper. And have my desk have alcohol ink on it. That would not be good. I, did, I this was this was not part of the plan tonight, but you know what? We took a little detour, like Crafty Tuesday. Just a little detour with etching, an etching detour. Colored etching. Because y'all didn't want to try it. <laughs> I hope it's going to look good. I'm going to wipe it all off. Do to do, do painting. Hopefully we're not bleeding through. That's good. It's not. You guys, last weekend I was in um, Las Vegas for a bat, uh, not basketball, volleyball tournament. There were like 150 courts there. It was crazy. I was walking like eight and nine miles a day because I had to walk from our hotel to where the where the tournament was, but crazy loud and lots of volleyball and not a lot of rest. And then this week Isaiah gets here and then Kai and I go to DC next week. Craziness. Okay. I doubt you'd want to try my paper craft. I just for, mm -mm. You know I don't want to try paper craft. You'll eat anything. Okay. <laughs> Courtney, that's exactly what I thought. Give it to Mikey. He likes it. He likes it. You know that shows our age, though. <laughs> you can make your own alcohol inks with rubbing alcohol and mica powders. Okay, I can try it. I can try it. I'm coming to DC. Okay, so do you guys think I should wipe some of them off? Oh, they are definitely on there looking real janky. I thought it was going to wipe off nicely. <laughs> this looking like my little two-year-old niece made it. I wasn't trying to be neat with it. I thought it was going <laughs> to, I thought it was going to all wipe off on the edges. I thought it was just going to stick to the etching and then the rest was going to wipe off. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, look at this. 
this is a hot mess. There's nothing cute about that. There, the idea is very cute, but I didn't know I was supposed to be really good about it. <laughs> a touch of alcohol. Okay, I have Q-tips right here. And I have alcohol. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like, this is not, not what it's Let's stop the timer. I got a little cup here. I'm going to put some alcohol in. We're going to see if we can fix this because this is not something I would put my name behind for a project. Oh, look at you, Kristen. Wash right off. You were so right. Wow. It's like magic. That's crazy. Wow. It's like magic. I don't even know what this word is. It's so messy. But, okay, she was right. It comes right off. Okay, let's fix this top. And then I'll show you all what that looks like. Looking like Eden's art. I'm going to send it to my sister tell her she can hang it up. <laughs> Here's something Eden made. Wow. I'm just like erasing it. Okay, so looks better up there already. I'm going to get another Q-tip. You can do another cleanup run before sealing. Okay. You guys, we etched and used color. And cleaned it up with a little alcohol. Let me get this bottom. Okie dokie. Okay, the top is looking better. All right, Christiana. Alcohol inks for the win with etching cream. and cleaning it off. So I think this seems like, I don't know, a project that you would maybe want to take a little time to paint if you really wanted to make it look really nice. Because this was just, you know, first time and quick, a quick run of it to see if it worked, but it does. And then if you took some time to clean it up, or really took some time in the beginning to not even have it look like this. Smaller brush, but you can get more accurate. And then maybe go over it one more time to uh, get a more even color. There we go, guys, in my new home era. You said it's not cute at all. It's a hot mess. <laughs> it, it was a hot mess. And it's still not the best. I mean, I wouldn't give this to anybody. But it could work. It could work. Rubbing alcohol to the rescue for the win. Yes. Uh, has it on point. Do the painting before taking off the vinyl. Maybe even seal before taking it off too. Oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. 
I miss that sipping crafts with the project, but most of all with us. <laughs> I feel like you guys are patient with me. I appreciate that. But yes, so I think what we learned here, it does work with alcohol inks. I'm, uh, I'm gonna even just take this off. Let me just see. So I could even just redo, look at that. It just wipes right off. So I could redo it, make it look really nice, make sure it's all cleaned up on the edges and then seal it. I love the idea. I love the idea of keeping the stencil on. So now you guys know. So if you're doing etching, don't put alcohol ink on with the etching cream when you're doing your project. Put it on after you rinse it off, keep your stencil on, paint with some alcohol inks, and then I think it'll be fabulous. That, that's a great idea. Paint with it on. Okay. Now we know. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I'm going to try and do the other one too, just so we can see the difference. Or so you guys can see the pitched vinyl. I don't know what happened to my lid over here. Okay, let's see. Can I even see? Trying to be careful with this. Seems very intricate. Garage entry sensor open. Who is home? Yeah, this is like super intricate little details. Maybe not the, it doesn't really like it. Maybe I needed like a higher cut setting. And I can't see it very well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I need a higher cut setting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm peeling off the whole thing. Oh my goodness. That Mr. and Mrs. is tough up there. Yeah, I pretty much ruined all that. Let's not salvageable. Oh, not salvageable. Salvageable. I keep repainting. Yes, please, Nanette, or thank you, Nanette, for reminding everyone. Like the video, please. Dang it! I really wanted that to work. I'm gonna delete. Actually, what? Ah, uh, what did I do? I'm undoing things I shouldn't be undoing. All right. Friends, I'm going to see if I can do this again. I really wanted you to see what it looks like. I might have been up with this one. Oops. I'm going to go a little bit higher. All right. Cut it a little bit higher. 
Let me check to see if I have enough. I think I do. Hello, that to this creation. We are riding the hot mess express train. We are choo choo. <laughs> I am the conductor of the hot mess express train. <laughs> it's all right. The last few have not been hot mess express. So we have taken our train to Wonderland. That is not where we went today. I'm sorry. I cannot say that every week we will be going somewhere fun and fabulous. Sometimes it's the land of hot mess. <laughs> All right, I did it a little bit higher cut setting. So hopefully that's going to help me with weeding this sucker. Because it was not liking me before. All right, the end we did correctly. All right, all those letters in the middle we did correctly this time. Okay, good to go with that. Now let's get this top part. Much better. That settings are very important. When they are not good, your project doesn't work. What are you doing here? Those are in the... Oh, it didn't help that I couldn't see before. I guess I was tearing parts I shouldn't have torn. Oh, I was not aware. Okay, that we did so much better. Then we are going to put this on our other side. Welcome aboard. It's a fun ride. It sure is. She owns that train. <laughs> I do. Welcome to Crafty Brick. Hot Mess Express. We're just going to reuse this that we had. Where's this one? This one will be able to see a lot better, get that center. So that would be nice. Oh, now you don't want to stick to the paper? Come on, design. Oops. Tearing up some of the letter. All right. Where's my little paper? I used it. Need one more. So I'm putting this on the underside. Uh oh. Dang it, I'm sticking. Transfer tape is sticking to the vinyl. <laughs> I fold it over. Hopefully, I can keep it from sticking to it for real, for real. Come on. Hot mess express. But uh, we survived that. We survived it. All right, let's get this center. This is much better. I'm going to line up the side of the table. Get this heart in the middle. Oh, so much better to be able to see where I'm putting it. All right, I'm going to take some paper off. Oh, 
hopefully this works on the opposite side. I've only ever used it on a wine glass and it was, you know, sticking on the outside of the glass. This is going to be showing through the underside of the glass. So let's see how that works. Ooh, it looks good. Check this out. Now that is fancy. Can you see it? Let me get let me get my computer case here. Maybe you can see it better on there. But oh, you can. Check that out, guys. That's fabulous. Okay, so we got hot mess and impressed. <laughs> Hot mess and impressed. That's, that's what we were made tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have to be. What, what are we talking about here? Experimenting is fun. Make it more eventful. Be here every week so she will continue. Yes, yes, come. Crafty Talent Showdown is going to be so fun. You are so right. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. Thank you guys. The monogram is so good. The more the better and to choose from. I love it. Hot mask wasn't bad for an experiment first time, right? I'm going to wipe this off because let's give it like a fair comparison. Because this isn't really a fair comparison of what it looks like what we were initially doing. I'm gonna wipe this off. So this is our alcohol ink we were trying to color. And I think it will work, but it just didn't work today. That was a hot mess, but look how it just erases away. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me get my computer case again. Not bad, my friends. Although it still does look a little green, this one. It looks like there's still a little bit of color on it. So this is the etching cream. This one is the etched um, vinyl. Caesar's etched vinyl. So those were the two things that we made tonight. We, we learned some things today. I think that was, this was a success, my friends. That's what I think. It was a success. Let me turn this guy off, kick him out of the studio. Team Edge Vinyl, right? Kick that guy out of the studio. Um, it's easy, so much easier. We have colored edge vinyl. I didn't, oh, I don't think I heard you say that before. before. I haven't seen the colored etch final. They both look good. You're the bomb, Courtney. Thank you, Kelly Mong. Thank you, thank you. Um, I didn't get to see, was anybody that's still here? You were here for the first time tonight? Anybody, anybody? Team etching cream. I do like etching cream. I like both of them, to be honest. This one just turned out really good. That's the etch final. That is nice. Sky, Sky Tech, red, blue, and green. I like that. Oh, Sipping Crafts, you're still here. Yay, I'm so glad you stayed with us the whole time. This is every week. This is what we do every week. We, <laughs> we just try things out and we have fun and we laugh and we mess up and we try it again. And that's it. It's just laid back, crafting, and chatting. So this is the other one. In my new home era. Am I going to mount the monogram on something? Probably not. I'm probably going to use it as a cutting board. Probably. I think that's my plan. And I can cut it, and then you can rinse it off. Oh, Kelly in Texas, your second live. I'm so glad you came back to watch with me. 
Oh, CJ Spice. Yes, watch it. It was kind of a hot mess, but we figured it out in the end and, and made it good. Hello, Kawanda. Welcome. Oh, you're using the citrus strip on powder coated cup. I love citrus strip. I, I think that works really well. Do y'all know people are still commenting on that Stanley Cup video I made? And they are mad. They are mad about me making that Stanley Cup. I don't know because they have a Stanley Cup and they're mad. They bought a Stanley Cup. I don't know what they're mad about, but they're angry with me. But <laughs> I'm just like, it's okay. It's a cup. I was, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. Um, oh, I do live in San Diego, Kelly. You're Kelly in Texas, but you live, oh, you're from San Diego. Okay. I'm like, you're, you're Kelly in Texas, but you live in San Diego. Nice. Yes. I live in San Diego. That's why I told them you can be mad at me. That's fine. But they like give me all these angry faces. Somebody said like, that's fake. And they had an angry face with the, you know, the cursing like mouth and gave me like 20 of them. So I was just like, yes, it is. And I gave them like 20 happy faces because I don't know why you're so angry. <laughs> oh, Kwanda, I'm glad this is your second one. I see you catching my videos, commenting a lot. I appreciate you. Won't miss another one. Oh, Kelly, I'm excited. I'm so happy. I got some new Crafty Tuesday followers. Yeah, Renee, I don't know why they're so mad, but keep on commenting because now it's up to like 1.3 million views. So even if you don't like it, it's fine. <laughs> it was just a joke. Somebody said, I'm sure your kids hate you. I'm like, what? what? First of all, I didn't give it to her. I didn't really make it for her. I made it as a joke. It's, it's just funny, guys. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, people are very serious. I don't even understand it. Hey, Gina. Welcome to Crafty Tuesday. Yeah, can you believe that? Yeah. Um, I guess my son saw some of the mean comments. My my younger son, he, he saw some of the comments, and especially the one where it said, I bet your kids hate you. He made, he made some fake accounts and went and, like, jumped on these people and were, like, defending me. But... YouTube removed his comments quickly. I was like, oh my gosh, Micah, what did you say to them? Oh, my boy defending his mama. <laughs> People are crazy. They do. D I didn't ex acknowledge a lot of them, but some of them I was, I just couldn't resist. But I didn't even I didn't even respond with anything mean to anybody. I just responded with lots of smiles. <laughs> yes, thank you for your views and interactions. Yes. Oh, Delanda's on tonight. What is she making tonight? Oh, wait, I'm gonna say is it Romeo Wednesday? It's not Romeo Wednesday. People always hating. My assistant would know better. Good for him. Yep. My boy. That is my boy. Keyboard warriors. They are. I just don't even understand. Disrespecting my court. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's why I feel some people are miserable, miserable and I, I don't have time for miserable. And you certainly aren't going to bring me down. I'm going to stay happy. So you're... Your miserableness will not ooze over to me. So I don't I don't care. Internet, I don't even know you. <laughs> like it's not that serious. Oh, you watched Delanda and me. So Delanda's doing what? DTF hack? Oh, nice. I haven't done any DTF hacks. I'll have to go check out her video. Delanda talks too much. That's what it's that's what they said on her video. <laughs> Why are you watching? Like, why? <laughs> why? I don't understand why you're watching if you think I talk too much. It's so crazy. Thank you, Vern. I appreciate you. Engagement. Win, win. So crazy. So crazy. People are crazy. Complained on a video. Delanda talks too much. I just don't. <laughs> Get off the video. 
So, my friends, I'm going to get off, but I need to give you some updates. One, if you're not on my email list, you should be, so you can make sure that you've got all the latest information. I really, I'm not a big email person. I don't personally like to get a lot of emails, so I don't send a lot of emails. So I, you get an update once a month, and then if there's something really big going on, then I'll email you again. But there's an email coming out next week for April's schedule for Crafty Tuesday, and um, actually, I, I might have a summit in April as well. I can't remember. I haven't done any summits for a little bit, and I have decided no to some of them. I'm not doing any for a while because I'm, I'm summited out. I had a, I did like six from the fall to in winter, and I was like, no, I need a break. So no summits. I have one more, and then not for a while. But I don't email that much. So get on my email list. It's in the link in the description. You can sign up for it. There will not be Crafty Tuesday next, no, wait, next week? Yes, I'm here next week. Yeah, I'm here next, am I? Ne no, I'm gone. I'm sorry. I'm gone next week. The days are flying by. So no Crafty Tuesday next Tuesday because I will be in Washington, D.C. Walking from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. It's very, very busy. Um, and... I think that's it. The Crafty Challenge Tournament of Champions is going to be May 18th, 17th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. And Shanita Nicole from Do Dream On is the guest in April for the Crafty Challenge. So that's going to be super fun too. I will get back to you about the date on that because I need to confirm it with her, but that's going to be fun. That's in April. So you don't want to miss that. I know that'd be fun if you could crash my visit. I I don't know if we're ever, I'm, I'm trying to see if I have any time like down, like, I don't know. Jules, I know there's a lot of summits, lots of summits. Oh, my big reveal. Oh my gosh, it's, it's huge. So I just unboxed it. So I will be sharing that information very shortly. Um. Let's see. Watch the replay. Good night. We can meet up. That would be fun to meet up. I'm going to see. Let me check the schedule and see if there's anything. My DC people, maybe we can like hook up and I can meet y'all in person. That'd be very, very fun. But I don't know that I will have any free time, but I'll check my schedule and see because I, I would love that. All right, my friends. I'm glad you like the challenges. I'm glad you're here with me every Tuesday. I love having you hang out. If you guys have something that you want me to try, let me know. I know Kristen wants me to try. Text me, Kristen, or um, DM me. You said it's alcohol inks, I think with alcohol and mica powder. I think that's what you said. But yeah, text me, DM me, some, message me, message me some. Have your people call my people, okay? And we can figure it out. But if y'all have anything you want to see me try, DM me because I'm open to trying new things. You you see, I didn't even wasn't planning on this at all tonight, and we did it anyway. So um, yeah, Sandy, that was so much fun with Jennifer Maker. Uh I don't know what downtown area is, Gigi, but you know where all the main stuff is. Like I think we're going to the Capitol, we're going to the White House, we're going to Arlington, we're we're going to a lot of stuff. So I, I don't know if that's downtown or not. Um, thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Love you hanging out with me. Love that you support my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be sharing some stuff. You know what? Tomorrow I'm actually going up to DTF station. I get to check out a DTF printer. So I'll be on location tomorrow. I won't be live, but I'll be filming some stuff. So. I will be sharing that with you too. There's so much content, always filming stuff. But thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, get on the email list so you can stay up to date. I will be back um, next. No, I won't be back next week. So in a couple of weeks, I'll be back at Crafty Tuesday. So until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye. And